My name is Democritus. I was born in 460 BC. This is a beautiful flower. I wonder what this flower is composed of. What's inside this the flower, but at a microscopic level. Could it be atoms? These atoms compose all matter, and they cannot be divided. It is only a theory, but I feel as it must be true. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Aristotle, I bless this wolf. I am Aristotle, and that is who I am. I was born in 384 BC, and as the day I was born, I knew. I said, Democritus, you fool. There are no such thing as atoms. Matter is continuous and can be divided endlessly. And I am Aristotle, and that makes me right. <laughs> Antoine Lavoisier. I was born in 1743. I named oxygen and proposed the law of conservation of masses, which was the start of modern chemistry. I distinguished between compounds and elements. Oh! <laughs> My name is Joseph Louis Proust. So I was born in 1754. Now in 1794, I came up with something called the Law of Definite Proportions. And it states that chemical compounds always contain the same proportions of elements by the mass. Now, if you know me, I have a big mass. And I need to tone that down. Whoa! <laughs> The boy says his name is John Dalton. He was born in 1776. He discovered the law of multiple proportions, which uh, eventually led to the discovery of the mole. And then he died. I'm Avondale Avogrado. I was born in 1776, and I'm a gangster, the true real G. Now in 1811, I hypothesized that relative molecular weights of any two gases are the same ratio as the density of the same two gases. Oh, sorry. Under the same pressure and temperature. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Robert Brown. They call me Ace. I was born in 1773. In 1827, I observed dust particles jiggling around in water for no apparent reason. I then named it the Petisus. I'm going all in. Hello, I am J.J. Redneck. I have a J. No, I am J.J. Thompson. I was born in 1856. Now in 1897, I discovered the plum pudding model of the atom. Now all the volume stands for the positive charged, and the raisins are the negative charged electrons. My name is Eugene Goldstein. My mama told me that my birthday was the year of 1850. I figured it out. One day in a laboratory, I discovered that the electrons move from the negative cathode side to the positive anode side. And then I even had another discoveries. I discovered that the canal rays moved in the opposite direction. Hi, I am Max Plants, and this is Hulga Plants, my wife. I was born in 1853, and in the big 1900, 
I became known as the man who created quantum theory. I, it is hot, glowing matter. Mm. Hi, I'm Ali Einstein. I'm, I mean, people call me Albert. Albert, Albert Einstein. Um, I was born in uh, 1879. Yep, that's when I was born. 1905, I uh, wrote the uh, electrodynamics of moving bodies. And uh, I was 26 years old. That was where it's a day, it's a day, it's a day. Anyway, I founded uh, E equals MC squared, which means foundation of development of atomic energy. Yeah, those were the days. I mean, people call me Albert. I was very smart and good stuff like that. I mean, I. Oh, oh, oh. I got my fossils from the market. Hi, I'm Hans Gregor. I was born in 1882. I developed the instrument that detected alpha particles and other radiation. In fifth grade, well, I did that, I did it in 1906. But in fifth grade, get this, I almost won the spelling bee. <laughs> yeah, they call me Ernest Rutherford. Yeah. I'm a pretty big deal around here. A lot of people know me. I was born in 1871, and the day I was put on this earth, everyone was like, wow, he's the man. And you know what? I am the man. <clears throat> One day, uh, I hit the laboratory, because I'm pretty much great at everything I do. I walked in, and I was like, it's 1909, and I decide that at the center of every atom should lie the positive charges. And so it was to be known. Now everywhere I go, every time there's an atom, the positive charge is the center. And since I'm the big shot of the, the league and all the leagues I'm in, I decided, hey, I'm going to name protons and neutrons. And I was the first guy to do that. Oh, wait, here. A picture's coming in. <sighs> Got to get ready for this one. Hi, I'm Ernest Marsden. I was born in 1889. Nine, 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 nine. In 1909, I was the co-founder of the Gold Foil Experiment, and I like powdered donuts. Hans Gregor. Ernest Rutherford. Ernest Marsden. In 1909, we probed the structure of the atom. But it was really my idea. I ate more pile of donuts. Donuts, donuts. Yo, it's your boy Robbie. Robbie Milliken. Yo, dog. I came on this earth in 1868. And in approximately the year of 1910, yo, yo, me and my gangsters, yo, we got together and we discovered how to ch how the discover the charge of an electron, yo. Yo, it was pretty, it was pretty dope if I could say so myself. Yo, we did this by the oil drop experiment, yo. Word. Hi, I'm Neil Spore. I was born in 1885. In 1914, I discovered that electrons rotated randomly around the nucleus. Hi, I'm uh, Louis Dig Brogley, yes, and I are. was born in um, 1892. And um, in 1923, I figured it out. I figured out that um, the electrons had a dual nature, and this dual nature was in both particles and waves. I did a really cool thing and has to do with the atomic theory. 
Discovered how to calculate the probability of finding an electron in the nucleus. Electrons can be refracted like a wave. It has mass like a particle. And now I'm gonna go home, so have a very, very nice day. Finish him! Hi, I'm James Chadwick. I was born in 1891. In 1932, I discovered neutrons, which led to fission, and which ultimately led to the atomic bomb. Cheerio, mighty!